Welcome to That Shit is Bananas. I'm Savannah with Christina. Hey. And Colby. What's good? What's good? And we are here in your ears once in again. In your ears. <laughs> in your brain. Soon to be on video, but Christina has to get her shit together with her camera. Yeah, I mean, it's here, <laughs> but um, for other purposes. I got to get the tripod set up and stuff, and there's no reason we can't use video next time. Okay. No reason. Okay. Yeah. So stay tuned, yeah. folks. And that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Christina, how are you doing? I'm you weren't good. here last time. No, I wasn't. I was family issues. Um, I'm really good. I'm I'm better. I'm a lot better. I know. We yeah. we're both on a health journey. Yes. Yay. But you're doing a lot better than me. I just want to like give you your props. Thanks. Give honey. you your flowers. I think you're doing amazing. Thank you. I'm doing what it's I can. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. It's not easy and it's expensive. Well, that's <laughs> why I've been fasting because since I've I've been they trying say to eat it's healthy. good for you, but I get sick when I fast. Yeah, I hate being hungry. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm not my best self. No. Um, Couldn't even give me money to be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's how I feel. Well, I'll do it for money. I feel like I need shit. It. <laughs> I feel like absolute, like if I go like eight, nine hours during the day, I feel like I'm going to die and it's I, my blood pressure is decreasing. Like I'm, I'm dying. I need to eat a piece of cheese. <laughs> 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 Mozzarella is good. <laughs> cheese in general yeah i know i, I do want to stay away from dairy because i hear it like really does wonders for your skin and your body <laughs> to stay away from it yeah probably i don't eat a lot of dairy besides like yeah. cheese yeah <laughs> same but i don't eat it every day I, I don't even fuck with ice cream that hard you know i can't i'm it's illegal in my health journey to eat ice cream so. <laughs> well i'm oh proud of you and gosh. i know it's hard oh, thank you but yeah how's working out going really good Really good. I I'm see you're on it. You're yeah, on your shit. I'm on it. I try to work out like, oh, like five days a week. Yeah. Six days if I can. Okay. But I go to the gym only three days a week, but for working out for two hours, ain't no fucking small feat. Dude, I okay? don't know. I think that it's not and really that great for you. But the you last you. time, the last time I was having a ball, I was working on my lower half. Lower half. Because I really like the step machine. I don't know what it's actually called. But it is... It's literally called a, a stepper machine, I think. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. But it's no. like an uphill battle. I can't and do that. Yeah. It gets my heart rate going, though, and I love it. But last time I, like, worked, worked my shit out, met with my trainer an hour later, and he was like, so today we're going to be working on your lower half. And I'm like, the fuck we are. <laughs> I already did that. But I was like, no, let's do it. Let's do it. I give you <laughs> I props for that. I was talking shit the whole time. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, but it's good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, it's still hard, but it's at like, the end of a workout, I'm like, yes. And, and it's like, I feel I great, it. but, like, where are my results? I know I've only been working out for five minutes, but, like. Yeah, I've seen results really quickly. I don't know if I'm lucky in that way, but, like, I've, in the last six weeks, have I, I've lost eight pounds, and I've, um, I've seen the results, too. So, yeah. I'm really, I'm happy with that. I have a long way to go, so. Yeah, I want to talk about the fact that I've joined random yoga classes multiple times now. I need to do yoga. It's hard. I it's know. It's so hard. And I only am able to, like, keep up because I don't want to look like a loser in there. But, like, I'll be in my mind, like, yo, so when's this pose over? Like, when we moving on? Like, what, <laughs> When can I, I get out I'm, of this? I'm reaching my <laughs> limit. We can do yoga together at my house with the tonal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we can struggle together and bitch at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, you fuck you. at the gym, I'll just, like, go into these fitness rooms, see if it's empty. And there's always, like, the beginning of a yoga class going on. And they're like, grab a mat. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> You've talked me into it. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I still, <laughs> you're not supposed to. It's a learning progress. It's a learning, it's a journey. So <laughs> I, I, know, I still, look crazy up I still know I look freaking stupid while I'm working out, but that's okay. why I just close my eyes and say, nobody else is here right now. I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people in my gym. Yeah. I mean, you also got to think like whenever you do go to the gym, like everyone was in the same spot that you were. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So it's like either they're gonna help you or not nine everybody. times out of ten just gonna ignore you like everyone has their beginning yeah nobody's yeah. there to judge or ridicule you on your job that's why i like my trainer because i'll be like oh we're done you're like no we got another set what are you doing 
he really I, that's why i like having a trainer because i'm not good you're at kind of forced to do the work yes yes usually i'm like all right i'm done but he's like no you're not yeah. <laughs> that's how the tonal <laughs> is like you can't just give up it's like i will yeah. come into your house and <laughs> yeah and there i have tra- the tonal machine the workout machine it's so cool it's just like you have a trainer like in front of you you know and you're wherever you want to work out in your house and it's just really freaking nice I mean, I, it's set up in the basement, but I mean, I hate that, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. There's nowhere else for it, so. Well, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I'm proud of you, too. Yeah, you got all the stuff down here. Like, I would be. I know. I would be doing it. I'm actually going to start doing it. Uh, Monday, I'm going to the gym with Sharif. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. That's I the day know. I go to the gym. Yeah. Uh, what, do you go to the Y? <laughs> what? Do you go to the Y? <laughs> um. He's going to Ultimate Physique. Hmm, that's where but Sam goes. I'm going to just go there with him, but um, I'm going to start working out with John again soon. I got to message him see when he's free. Good stuff. I just know that working out, you were just like really happy when you were doing it. Yeah. yeah You're th- okay. You inspired I, me. I got to chill. You I inspired chill. me because you would feel so good and be in so much pain at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, I want to know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how you feel. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I... I was like, I'm going to work out here. Now I'm going to chill. And then I started chilling too much. <laughs> <laughs> it I get that. It that happens. happened to me, too. I was finally, like, <laughs> comfortable at my weight. And then I gained 30 pounds. Yeah. So For me, for me personally, are. it's not a weight thing. It's I want to feel good. And yeah, I want to be strong. I want both. I yeah. want both, obviously. Yeah. I definitely just want to be healthy because the way I was living was not it. <laughs> not it right all. well now i eat unhealthy and i'm like sick as fuck oh yeah sick I on that toilet like sick as fuck i'm terrified like, me too yeah i'm eating pot roast today because i had to make a family dinner that's good pot roast is fine i know it's just i haven't really had much red meat yeah. so i'm a little worried just take where it I'm easy at. just take it easy if you're yeah. worried but i do make the best pot my roast. problem I was feel that way when i don't <laughs> eat bad is that weird? No. I felt like that too. Like no, that's exactly where I was. And you have to flip it. It's so hard to make that change. It was so hard for me. I literally would just like cry at night. Like I suck <laughs> so bad. Like I can't do this. And you flip it though. And then it's the opposite. You can flip it. It's possible. It, yeah. I, it's literally pizza every day. Whopper every day. Three, four, five, six cans of pop every day. Like that Mountain was Mountain Dew was her thing. Yeah. And I... She ruined it for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's still my kryptonite. Don't put that shit in front of me. <laughs> I won't do it, but don't do it. Please. I'll cry. <laughs> yeah, I finally got to a point where I'm not, like, up at night when I'm, like, trying to go Craving. to sleep. Craving. Where I'm like, I need some yes. chocolate. Dude. I haven't felt like that in, like, a week, and it's Mine nice. was, like, salt and vinegar chips and, like, a pop. For, for me, sure. it was, like, like, salt and vinegar chips, chocolate, yeah. chocolate with nuts. Salt and vinegar almonds? I seen kids. those in your in your basket. <laughs> I was you need to send me all the stuff. I'm gonna where do you go? Where do you go? Aldi's has like the same kind of shit. Okay. Um, honestly, but I mean, we go to Walmart more because I always need like I always go products, to Walmart. They so. have everything that you need there, and I so know. no one wants to make two it's stops. One, no, nobody does. And I, but it sucks there because you see like ten thousand people you either know Walmart yeah. or like don't want to know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yes <laughs> my grandpa works there i know i always see him yeah he's i just feel like when aren't you working because every time i'm at walmart i'm like hey grandpa <laughs> <laughs> poor grandpa <sighs> he was on the oh. their facebook page for like i know like I walmart's I happiest that. employee or something so cute yeah yeah <laughs> he always says hi to me i'm like i'm glad glad you remember me speaking of work <laughs> how are you liking uh working with me cold <laughs> well no, I'm just um, <laughs> well no, it's, it's, it's cool. got its pros and cons <laughs> it's cool i now just no longer have faith in that dashboard um yeah i feel like it hoed me 100 <laughs> percent. Um, i don't know what it's because about. when the truck is coming and th- when the truck is late it's gonna fuck up your numbers for the day don't even focus that day no, because like on the numbers because it matter. Not, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you know what Give it like one more month, you're gonna be where everyone else is at numbers wise. Yeah, I know. It's just like towards like the end, like uh, before we go to lunch, I start going like slow, and then after lunch, I'm like, 
I don't even care no more. Some you know, days like, you have days like that where you just like are like, I'm just doing what I can today. Yeah. And that's why I love that job because it's something where like you can have bad days and it's okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to be, you know, the best. <laughs> and that's yeah. definitely a man thing. But yeah, I wanted to actually throw out a PSA, you know, to people in their electronics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because y'all, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, first of all, if you're sending your electronic in to get fixed and your Oculus, which is originally white is actually black from the dirt and sweat on your head i'm sorry i'm gonna throw up yeah so am i every day (laughs) i could not stinks no and it's slimy slimy and it's yucky and why aren't you ashamed of yourself (laughs) like just throw the fucking straps in the washer and then wipe that shit down with a lysol wipe because right now i have to use a lysol wipe to touch it to get the serial number and I gotta smell it <laughs> and it ruins my day. As soon as you open the box. Oh, and headphones too. Clean your electronics. Babe, please. if the skin off your, on your he- on your headphone cushions are literally worn off and it's gr- slimy and there's earwax on literally every inch of your headphones, <laughs> maybe consider like saying maybe these are done and I need to get some new headphones, right? Right, not send them in to get fixed. <laughs> And sometimes we get things in where it's like, why, what did you think we can do here? I got a box of glass one time. A box? A box of glass. Yeah. It was when you were training me, actually. And I was like, what the fuck? What did they want from me? What was it supposed to be? I don't know. (laughs) That's really weird. And I should have known. I think it was like a chakra light or something. But this is just like the blue out, outer thing. It's just all glass. What do you want us? What do you want from us? I shattered this, but I'm going to send it in a box. Oh, let's not. There was an Apple Watch that was obliterated. Like it got ran over? Yeah, like multiple times. And it was in a baggie, like all the little pieces they could find. Yeah. And they were like... They're like, oh, so what had happened was, because they love telling stories in the comments and in their little collaterals and stuff. It is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> so in the comments in this one, because you could just say, I broke it. But instead, they're like, so it was a Saturday, and I set, <laughs> <laughs> I set this watch on top of my car, and I bent down to tie my shoe, and it slid off the car. No, honey. You got in that car, and you said, Vroom. Right. Put that shit in reverse. Vroom. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then oh my God. yesterday, what was it? The other day, I got an Oculus, right? It was in a box. I'm like, oh, just an Oculus. Probably going to stink. I open it up. Nervous. It is in pieces like pieces pieces and i was like what the fuck so i read the comments and it said um his little brother left it in the yard and i accidentally ran it over with the lawnmower Lawnmower. oh my god and in my head i'm like you ran over a white oculus on accident you seen that shit or you You were like you were like oh you guys want to fight over this the all right See Who what happens. Their Oculus in a yard is what I want to know. How old yes. are these kids? Like, should they yes. even have one of these? Like, what? And again, what That's do you want us to do? Like, what? What do you it's want us to game do here? Boy. <laughs> there, it was right. done. Right. It was D O N E. <laughs> it was D O N E. That's I'm funny. Surprised you even found <laughs> any information. I know. <laughs> I just dug through the pieces and I found the serial number. <laughs> you did. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. You did your job. Always do what you can find the serial <laughs> number whether it be glass in your hands or <laughs> that's hilarious but something stinks so bad i will i will just sr it i am not touching that <laughs> i don't blame you it's not in your job description to handle disgusting fluids yeah not in the description but it is part of it <laughs> <laughs> i know i know i know so this one time <laughs> <laughs> at band camp so this one time there was a computer in and I was handling it and everything. And then I finally get to the part where I'm looking at the comments and it says, my daughter threw up on this laptop. I'm sorry. In parentheses. <laughs> and I did. What? <laughs> yeah. So I would have been raging. And like then I literally have seen that. And I looked down <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. And then I literally started to smell puke. 
Oh my like god, guys! Side, I so. would no. I I'm okay. But Thank you know god, what? I don't want a job because that's not where I'm going. I love my job. I know you do, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty, foul. That's pretty great. Yeah. That story. Foul. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. I couldn't even wipe this down for you. <laughs> I didn't even have to tell anybody that. Even still, put a sticky note on it that says, throw up (laughs) on this. We would see it, and we would be like, oh. No. And we'd pick it up with a Lysol wipe. You would clean it it up, and you would say you spilled some water on it. Like, what the fuck? Mm, Sometimes there's there's stuff dripping from things. Okay. If they don't, enough. They don't let me know what like what it is. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I can't talk about these grotesque. Okay, things. yes, moving on, moving on. Today we are talking about our vacations. Yay! Yes. <laughs> because I just came back from one. Yes, <laughs> you did. You did. But since that, I have uh, something to say after I tell my little story. So I just figure you guys can go first today. Anna, you know I always take so long. <laughs> Do you have, like, a story in mind? Um, I, I've been trying to think of... Uh, you, you can I have so one. many. I don't even know where to start. Because I'm telling my one from a couple weeks ago, so you can tell Arizona Most recent? Like, a oh, most recent trip? I forgot we went there. Kobe, you're acting like we have no vacation stories when all we no, did was travel state to state. No, because all I think about is, like, <laughs> North Carolina <laughs> and Myrtle Beach. Yeah, you know, I remember I that one, like, too. And then Florida, but I'm like, oh. And we told the Myrtle Beach one because that's where Pedro was, and he, and uh, we talked about how they stra- left us stranded, stranded. Yeah. In North Carolina. You yeah. can just say it. we hated that guy too. Yeah, that guy sucked. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I still see him around. It's actually been like a year since I've seen him, but I used to see him everywhere. Everywhere. He's everywhere. Walmart, gas station. He's everywhere. everywhere. Whis- whistling bachata music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Any hoosers. Hoosers. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. The only things I can really think of are like the drive to the place. You know, like. You the, were younger, too. The venture to there. Like. Yeah, because like, it's very memorable. Yeah, I mean, I remember in Arizona, that was like the first time all of us got like, along got for a along whole week. A whole week. Even me and Cheyenne got along the right. whole time. And then the minute we got home, <laughs> it was rats. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <sighs> um, but I do remember you were sick. and <laughs> <laughs> You could just tell it. Just tell it. I'm not embarrassed. No, I remember you were sick. And... Um, we were, we were going. Like car sick or what do you mean? She, she got, my mom well, had the just flu like the night before or something like so that. So a couple days before, like there was this horrible stomach bug going around. Okay. And my mom had got it, got past it by the day before that we were leaving. Right. So it was just on to the next. <sighs> but then the night before we left, I got it. And yeah. actually it hit me like early in the morning. And we were supposed to head to the airport in the morning. And I was like, mom. I don't think I can go because this is when you're on the toilet. Both ends, everything's coming out and you're dying <laughs> type stomach bug. It was bad. Yes, it was, it was horrible. <laughs> but she said, you have to go. Like if you, you like you're going to be really upset if you don't go. And I was like, huh. and you did you you guys drove, right? No, oh. that would be a long oh. fucking drive. I, oh, sorry. No. I feel <laughs> like I remember that. I'm sorry. No, that's kind of what made it worse is I was sick the whole plane ride there. And we had to kind of play it off like it was nerves (laughs) so that they wouldn't. Which is, I feel like that's even more, uh, that's a tough, that's a tough I didn't want to be kicked off or anything for being sick. For being ill. Yeah. 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 uh, (laughs) So so my mom had this, had this, uh, well, it was like an anti-nausea pill or something like that. And it was like pink and it tasted like something. Why not make it flavorless? It was uh, (laughs) was supposed to be cherry flavored. And she was like, I can't swallow it. I'm good at that. I was like, Savannah, trust me. If you just chew it really, really fast and just swallow it, you won't even taste it. Yeah. Because that's what I would do, but I mean, I would still taste it. Yeah. Like, obviously. But <laughs> trying to play. Yeah. Me. And because um, we had to go. We had to go. It's there was time a mission to, to go. It complete. Like, yeah. And she, so she did it. She swallowed it. She had water, but she was like gagging. Oh. Like, the whole time. She was like, you lied. <laughs> 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 you lied to me. Uh, so. 
so she starts throwing up on the side of the car, and then I started saying, what was it? Oh, I was started singing. I was like, making my way downtown. <laughs> Walking fast. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> And she's sitting there just puking. Oh, even I had a bucket with up. a bag in it oh. for the drive so we can make it there on time. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. It, was, mm-hmm. and it was so funny. My mom started cracking up. And um, then we're at the airport. She's, like, laying down all sick and stuff. And I'm sitting in the chair. And I put my hand under because that's just how I used to sit. Like, I used to sit on the edge. And I just put my hand down, you know? Yeah. And then I literally <laughs> feel oh. so many people's. Gum. Pieces of gum. Oh, it's the worst. And I know I'm not the most cleanly person, but when it comes to me, like touching like nasty other stuff, people's, and it's like on my hand. No, I cannot fucking deal. Yeah, especially when I don't know <laughs> me neither. where or who. Yeah, it came from. Yeah, no. and you know how I feel about people spit. So that just sends me yeah. over. Bro, yeah, what I walk to the bathroom just hand in the air and. <laughs> I didn't even want to go in the bathroom because the men's bathroom everywhere is horrible. Disgusting. But especially the airport. The airport bathrooms, this because I was also in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and when we had our layover, I was in the bath I went to straight to the bathroom to throw up, but it was so disgusting in there that I just sat on the floor and threw up in the f- fucking plane bag. I would have done the same thing. And I was there for a while and the next thing I hear is Savannah, it's mom. Um, our plane is sporting soon. <laughs> you gotta get better again. <sighs> but yeah, and during that time, I also was sleeping on. You guys all laid down your sweaters on the ground so I could lay down. Aww, <laughs> <Yeah>. that's real fam. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm glad. I'm glad that you actually did. Uh, like you did come because you were for no. sure. Uh, yeah. Pissed. Well, when we got there, I was still sick. Like the minute we got there, I was like bathroom. And I was throwing up. But then the one guy that was there gave me some weed. It was Arizona weed. It was different. You know, it was some. It was different. It, it was, was some pack. It was some pack. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I felt instantly better. And I was better the whole rest of the trip. Woke up ready to go. Grandpa was squeezing us fresh um, orange juice from, from the orange trees outside. Ooh, they were red oranges, too. Yeah. That's amazing. And making us crepes. And there was this giant tortoise <gasps> yeah. in the backyard. And you know how I feel about tortoises. Like a real one? I love yeah. them. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like a real one. He was like, humongous. They all, like, sprayed oh him God. with the hose and stuff. Oh Not, like, God. in a violent way. <laughs> Not in a violent way. <laughs> no, we were cleaning his shell. Yeah. Oh, and he had, a, he had a home under the shed, so they bury, they bury on, bury, bury, bury. Yeah. They burrow, they burrow uh, <laughs> under the ground. Is it burrow? Uh, yes, yes, you're right. I was wrong. You're, you're fine. <laughs> but, yeah, it was great. In yeah. the pontoon boat. Yeah, oh, that water was cold. so cold. Yeah, Grandpa said he was going to jump in the water with me. And I was like, one, two, three, and I went, and he did it. And I was like, you, you bastard. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> as soon as you came up the that's water. That's horrible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Hustling. That's awful. <laughs> well, I That's dove, how my family I is. I dove in that water the moment I was in there. I hit a U turn. I was like, oh, no, I gotta get up. No out way. Here. Is but this I seen for me? mountain goats up there. There was like mountains, mountain goats just balancing on the rocks on the cliffs. It was awesome. I was nervous. Yeah, that, that is super awesome. Dope. <laughs> that, was super dope. that was probably the best vacation ever. Of all time. Yeah. Of all time. Yeah, we were in the hot tub because it's like really hot there, but it's dry heat, so it's not humid. So you could sit in a hot tub right. in the heat and it feel great. Right. Yeah, I would always sit in there for too long though. Yeah, we were yeah. having fun. Oh, I would go out at night at nighttime and I would just like start floating my body above the the bubbles and like with all the sounds around. It's just like that sounds. I was also high amazing. and it was amazing. Yeah, that sounds amazing. <laughs> that's that awesome. Fantastic. But that's also where stone. <laughs> yeah, that's also where I um, watched that Walking Dead episode where they killed Glenn, though, mm-hmm. and it was really brutal. And so, well, you know, I've never watched that. Um, I watched it to a certain point. It just went on too long for me. I watched it. Yeah. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! I watched it until, um, like when Carl died, the son. I was like, okay, well. I think <laughs> a, I think a lot of people stopped oh, at that I'm point. Done. Like that's. That's the rumor, at least, that a lot of people It felt like a good stopping point because then there was, um, like, starting to be, like, resolution to a lot of the conflict. And I just felt like it would have been a good place to just leave off. Right. Yeah, I wasn't interested after that. I'm like, oh, so you're just going to kill my boy, Carl? You're just going to do that? My boy. But here's what makes me want to watch the rest of it. 
because I seen in trailers that so Rick has supposedly died. I didn't watch it that far, but in trailers it shows that he's alive and he's like in New York or something. And there's going to be a whole spinoff with him there. And then there's a whole other spinoff with Daryl and Maggie. And then there's a whole other spinoff some with, uh, no, not Daryl and Maggie, um, Negan. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested. And I'm like, well, then I'd have to mm, catch I've up. Seen, I've seen a trailer with Daryl. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, but it ain't looking bright. <laughs> it ain't looking bright. <laughs> it ain't looking bright. But that's when I'm like, damn, what's even the point of living at that point? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, y'all are just that, fighting man. too long. No, never just too give it long. a rest. I wouldn't be able to survive that long without a decent meal. <laughs> what food is food? No. N- food is not steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes is steak and potatoes. I hear you. <laughs> but food is food. All right, so any other memories from that trip? Um, oh, I remember when I accidentally punched you in the face. What? <laughs> Almost. Almost. You were a hair away from my teeth. Away from my chinny yeah. chin chin. So because <laughs> I, I was watching, I seen this, uh, one of the insidious movies, and it was this old man who couldn't breathe or whatever. <laughs> and he was barefoot because he was always in like a hospital gown or whatever. And you could just hear his feet that were, like, covered in blood just, like, hit whatever <laughs> hard floor he was walking on. Mm-hmm. So, like, a little pat, pat, pat. Mm-hmm. So, she was fucking with me. Because I knew. He told me his fear, and I'm his big sister. <laughs> so, so, naturally. She, she was fucking ass. with me. <laughs> and she, um, she was walking behind me, but then she forgot um, that my mom would literally hide behind corners all the time and punch me in the stomach randomly, you know? Yeah, no. So we were always trying to scare each other yeah. in yeah. our house yeah especially when manny lived there because i was always I mean, my to house him. works like that currently like <laughs> someone we're always like livy i everybody. gotta start <laughs> <laughs> yep gotta make a thing teach cairo a little lesson been, <laughs> mom has been jumped at quite a long time. i can see cairo being like so mad at you oh he would be so oh, upset oh, i don't know I, he I might think to, it's funny. i used to jump out he and might. scare him no. all the time when because it's me he'll be mad <laughs> <laughs> but, but you should get mob and tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but she was walking behind me like that, and I got scared, and so I just swung. He was walking down a dark hallway, and so I followed him. On yeah, the, on the that's slide. terrifying. It's like everyone's <laughs> number one fear is like, <laughs> like something's lurking behind you that's Literally. unwanted. Yeah. yeah, he turned around and almost took my mouth. <laughs> <with his head. laughs> <laughs> but but I, don't know, I can't blame him. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't jaw her. It's the price you pay for being a prankster, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Siblings. I'm just a prankster in general. Like, it it gives me a sense of life. (laughs) And (laughs) it makes me feel good. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I taught Cairo bacon, which, do you know what bacon is? No, is it just my family that does it? I don't, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You want to know what bacon is? Bacon. Asshole. (laughs) I don't like it. For those who don't know, she just slapped Christina across her forehead. (laughs) I know, right? (laughs) Oh, my God. It's been an ongoing thing since I was a kid. I have never heard (laughs) of bacon. Yeah, I taught Cairo bacon. But you're not baking me happy. (laughs) (laughs) He loves it. Oh, well. I said, next time you see Colby, you got to do this to him. Yes. He misses you, by the way. Like, he was talking today because he's having trouble beating... Uh, level in Sonic, his Sonic game. He's like, I need Colby to come help me. He said, because I love Colby and he he's the best. <laughs> yeah, no, I I've been meaning to to come and visit. But you see enough of me at work. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not that. It's just like honestly, for me, it's like literally out of sight, out of mind. Like, not that I deliberately am like oh, I don't want to fucking see them. You know? <laughs> but like. Fuck like, them kids. No, I'm just I'm, kidding. Like with mom, <laughs> with mom, if she wasn't living with me, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't be talking to her as much or like anything like that. Yeah. It's just not in my like field of view, if that makes sense. Like <laughs> I just be doing It's a man thing. thing. It's a man thing. Own. It's a man thing. I mean, I'm sure there's some women who do it, but I just know more men that. Yeah. It's like, what? I'm like. I've you're just thinking about I'm the next episode you gotta watch yeah. you got a commitment to make <laughs> peace over everything <laughs> <laughs> for real 
I mean, I got I got merch. But yeah, or Air or Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> this should be called Savannah's. Um, I was gonna say typos, but that's just like. Now, to the point. now I feel like we Savannah's need Savannah's slip up. Listen, I feel like we need to name the episode Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what comes <laughs> of it. <laughs> so yeah, that was a fun ass trip, and we all got along, and it was wonderful, and it was a great time with my grandpa before he like disappeared. <laughs> a wall. Literally, that's the just definition. who he is, I guess. Like you know, he's always not always when we were kids. He was um, with someone named Paula for like 15 years and that's our grandma forever, you know, and, you know, they broke up and he just has been kind of off doing his own thing in like California, I think now. I don't know. I hope he's alive and well, <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> but, you know, it, it does hold some resentments When's for me. The, yeah, I mean, absolutely. When's like, the last time anyone spoke with him? Um, He was here when Kyra was like okay two okay and he was it was before my mom sold her house okay and he was helping fix it up but okay yeah then you know he was kind of drinking a lot and yeah she had to send him home <laughs> so he gotta go home now <laughs> but we had some good times with him though we used to we lived in massachusetts with him when colby was born <laughs> colby was just a little baby you were born in massachusetts no he was born in north carolina and then we moved oh, that's straight so to massachusetts. weird that's so weird yeah we lived there for a while i remember all my toys were in storage <laughs> <laughs> you've told me that yeah it's a, it's a core memory <laughs> <laughs> i can imagine um yeah <laughs> well, yeah christina what about you any fun vacay stories oh she gosh. has plenty i took many with her i know i know just because it's like i'm talking with savannah like i feel like i'm just naturally gonna go into like savannah stories but see this is kind of like when we were sitting here i was like i'm gonna have to dive I into all of their stories because i was there i know right <laughs> i could explain like the angola like but you issues, had other stuff. Like issues, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like the Let's loss talk about of that place. Yeah. Yes. Talk about Angola. Talk yeah. about it. Tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> I already know, though. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So basically, Angola, um, I think, I want to say he was my third great uncle. Like, great, great, great. It could have been two. Sorry. I was young. Um, but he owned a house in Angola on um, Lakeshore Road. And he owned like a strip of the beach like anybody down there had like access if you lived on that strip right. you would have access to the beach it's like a long driveway yeah. down to the beach yeah yeah so <laughs> i just i had a memory about that driveway where your cousin's got I his big so tire many. oh my god and we're like spinning down which now i know is so dangerous oh yeah <laughs> yeah but definitely <laughs> yeah i mean long story short like my grandmother when she her her mother like went there and then my grandmother went there like a couple times a summer every month like it was like a, th a tradition in my family we would camp down there and um we do like fourth of july and then like another another week in the month too um but anyways as we got older i started bringing savannah and we had like our best times yeah i remember like, they were like this is the only friend that you can bring yes <laughs> literally <laughs> which i was totally because i wasn't with. just your friend i was like a part of your body like we were yeah. inseparable and there was no way you were gonna leave me for a week <laughs> i know <laughs> exactly <laughs> literally but we we had <laughs> i love the water so i just i loved it down there but we had we had a cave yes, so we would walk gorgeous. all the way down the beach to where like it was ending and was like a cliff and you had to go around like the bend but the water through erosion, the water though the water erosion had at first just a little dip where you could just like kind of just sit in the cave <laughs> like it was weird it was erosion like yes. an erosion of the a yeah. huge yeah, so it was just a little thing where you can just sit in and then every year we would go after that it was just deeper and deeper and deeper and then it was our little it got cave. huge yeah like we could put yeah. food coolers like it got huge it eroded we what? would i wonder what it looks like now <laughs> me too we should it might be gone it might be flat to sneak up one of these days it's not impossible we it is not impossible it's not impossible I'd be like mind your fucking business literally <laughs> i have i have theories like of things we're that gonna we do it do. yeah we're gonna do it by next summer we have to yes Okay. 100%. We're going to make a plan. But anyways, so my great 
uncle ended up passing away and the people that lived with him that was like basically like his adopted son and his wife at the time um they took care of him he was 103 so he right. passed away and um but before he passed away he was kicking he was smiling he walked till he was yeah. 102 yeah like it was crazy he, he was having a good time he mowed the lawn and did all the tractor work mm-hmm. till he was 100 that's inspiration right yeah there. for real for real <laughs> uncle ted he had like um grape a uh, grape vineyard right yeah it was yeah. huge yeah we used to go and when we were drunk we would go through the grape vines and so fun though fall on the ground and act crazy but we'd get we'd <laughs> we'd s- secretly smoke in there because it oh, was yeah. like a good spot we had like anybody didn't spots. know we were just chilling in the grape vines there's probably spots. like <laughs> puffs of smoke the, the toilet would get clogged constantly it was like these like well because there was old like ass 20 of ass us toilets. and there was like 20 of us going in and out yeah it just it was yeah i felt bad for that but we offered to get like porta potties and things like that and it was always kind of like oh you're fine you know until it got clogged and it was a huge problem yeah exactly yeah. till it got bad but anyways that's like one of another reason like we so my uncle passed away and basically because of issues we had in past with um, the guy that was taking care of him, um, it was just like, we're not going back there. Like, they had got, like, my family got into an argument with him, and and things just won't, you know, just wasn't good. So we had to say goodbye to that, and that was really, really hard for me. But if you go to Evangel State Park, you can sneak on that beach, or you can rent an Airbnb on that strip. And have access to the beach. So it's not like, it's not, compl- it, you just got to spend money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I did get kicked off though. Like me yeah. and my dad and my grandma were snuck down there from Evangola State Park. And a guy came down and was like, where are you from? Are you from the campground? Because obviously the path was worn. You could tell people do this all the time. Like sneak down there from the campground. And we literally got kicked off. And my and grandma's like, I'll never go back there again. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to find a way. But yeah, Angola, good times. Great times. Great times. You know, Christina broke the tent once because we were <laughs> more than clumsy. Once. I <laughs> broke the tent more than once. It was nighttime. I break the zippers. Yes, it was nighttime. And we were going I'm to bad. leave the tent. I, I will tell everybody, I don't know what it is, but I'm <laughs> fucking bad with zippers. Literally in like Ziploc bags. Like I break all of them instantly. It's brutal. She tripped out the tent, ch- out the tent, and like, <laughs> I laughed because I'm sorry. Like when people fall, I'm gonna laugh. I'm sorry if you're hurt, but it's not my fault. I, I was laughing funny. too. Yeah, yeah. It's just the one time you fell on the train tracks, and I really had to hold it back because I, w- I know you hurt yourself. But I wasn't it was mad. <gasps> you all laughed. I wasn't. No, mad. no. Only Sean laughed. He <laughs> he was like ha. And then we were like, hey, keep it together <laughs> like the rest of us are. <laughs> I'm still fucked up from that. I bruised my, I fucked my, I think I broke my tailbone that day and did nothing about it. And now it's like. No, that was on the stairs. Probably both. I remember. She falls a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Livy, I fell down the stairs like, like a month or two ago oh with God. a basket going <sighs> down. And the gate was at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. <sighs> So I practically lost all my toenails on the fucking staircase <gasps> and <laughs> on the gate, I mean, and I was in so much pain. It was just me and Libby home and I'm like trying to keep it together for her. And she's like, are you okay? She's still telling people, mommy fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate them for that? Like, shut the fuck up. It's my business. Oh my. I'm like, yep. Mommy fell but down luckily the stairs. with a basket into a gate. Luckily, your stairs are carpeted, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, not mine are here. not. So, I'm every moment extra vigilant on them, motherfuckers. Yeah. Especially yeah, carrying they're the They're kind of steep, and they're thin. Stairs. They're oh. not wide. Corey broke his foot on those stairs. He, when he lived in those apartments? hmm mm-hmm. Didn't mean, he break his nose or something, too? Or was that a different event? That was <laughs> when I think they were playing basketball. Okay. His glasses cut his face up and everything. Damn. Okay, so I went to Colorado recently, like a couple weeks ago, and I went there to visit my sister with my dad. So it was my first time traveling with my dad, and which was interesting to think about. Um, so just to start from the top, first of all, I was really guilty about going like beforehand because 
I like struggle financially a lot and I was like I felt like kind of kind of like oh, I was worried about what other people would think I was worried about oh I need help with a new car seat and child care fees but I'm going to Colorado like I, I was like how are they going to see that but I'm like but also I know that I bought this ticket to go April 2020 Right. I bought this ticket right. years ago. You don't need to explain yourself. And you know what happened in April 2020. There was no going anywhere. Right. So they held my ticket. I was just going to say, it's not like you had to come up with like this crazy upfront cost. And it go. was expiring at the end of the year. So I right. needed to use it. Yeah. Um, and I haven't had to take, I haven't taken a vacation. I don't need to explain myself at all. I understand that. But this is how I had to remind myself. Like, yeah. I haven't had a vacation in seven years. Yeah. And that's after having a whole life of traveling constantly. Right. Like seven years. Last trip I took was to Arizona. I was 20 years old. Right. Like it's. Can you believe how it, long? <laughs> I don't want to talk about time and how neither. fast and slow I'm it like, moves. Like, what do you mean? I was 20 yesterday. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I don't need to be guilty about this. And, and I have I have things set up for my kids. I asked my mom way ahead of time, like, hey. I literally sat on her porch. I'm like, I got something to ask you, and I don't know how to ask you. Right. <laughs> and she was like, just say it. And I was like, well, I need to go. I was like, I ha- my dad wants to plan this trip to Colorado, and, and I need this. And I need a break and I need this. Yeah. And I, I was like, I know it's hard for you and I'm going to try my best to line up other people. I was like, but other people aren't guaranteed, but you will be. Right. You know, because everyone else is flaky. Right. And sh- Or have children. Yes. Yes. And she was like, okay. Um, I, she's like, I had aunts and, and family that took care of my kids when I need to go do what I need to do. Right. And I don't have that. It's you know? really awesome that she reflected on, like, her own situation, how she would have felt as a young yes. mom. Like, I think that was really awesome. But I also felt guilty about that because I, I know that she's she's hurting. You know, know, she hurts all the time, and I didn't want to put anything on her, you yeah. know? But I needed this. And so we went, and I stayed the night at my dad's house the night before we went. And it was crazy because we had to wake up at 430 to go to the airport but i was on tiktok the night before and i forgot to set my alarm oh i woke up at 4 30 on the dot because oh, in my dream no. in my dream i said i think i have to wake up right now it was crazy that's awesome i literally woke that's up and awesome. i was like i was like isn't it weird i just woke up because my dream told me to my dad was that's already crazy. awake <laughs> that's crazy that's awesome um but yeah subconscious we, doing its job we um you know, got to the airport nice and early. It was, like, so nerve-wracking because, like, I don't know. I'm not – I haven't traveled by plane often, so I'm not used to airports. I only travel by plane three times in my life now. Um, once to Massachusetts from North Carolina, like what we were talking about, and then once to Arizona, and then once to Colorado. Um, and so, naturally, I wanted a window seat because – I want to see the views. I want to. I wanna, oh, I always need the You know, seat. I need it. You know, yeah. but unfortunately, the way we booked and when we booked and everything, um, we got kind of a shit deal. So we had a layover in Atlanta. So it was like an hour or so there. So on my first flight to Atlanta, I was next to this old couple who had the window seat. And, of course, they left their fucking windows shut the whole fucking time. And we're watching the fucking map thing. And I'm like, you can just look out the fucking window. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculous. So I watched a movie. I watched three movies on these planes. And I watched The Whale with Brendan Fraser. And it was really fucking phenomenal. And I watched um, Dead Evil Rise. I watched all the scary movies because I wanted to kind of curb my fear of the flight. Understood. Um, Which was really gory. And I had to close my eyes a lot. Ew. And then I, <laughs> I also watched um, Megan, that, that movie with the, like, the I, I've girl. seen it. It's good. Yeah, it is. It's so it fucked is. up, but it's good. But it really gives you a sight of, like, how we need to be careful in Which what's we're coming not with being. the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Colby's nodding his head, like, yes. You've seen it? <laughs> no, but I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, you know. Oh, iRobot already taught me everything. Yeah. 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 Then, on the way to Colorado from Atlanta fucking i was next to i was in i was in the middle i was in the middle the worst that's the worst the worst seat ever to be before i was on the end which sucks but i was in the middle and on the two sides of me were teenage boys what yeah where's your dad 
And he's right across the aisle from me, also in the middle. Oh we were bitching God. the whole time. I was actually about from fucking seat. So, um, because uh, the one teenage boy on the out, like in the hall, like seat, he was bigger, you know, and he had a giant blanket with him. So he shoved it between his legs, and so he's opening his legs, and he's just overflowing into my seat. Right. Right. And he was taking up the armrest, fine. But then there's this other teenage kid next to me who off the jump pissed me off because his mom turned around and was like, hey, guys, because his sister's right behind him. She's like, hey, guys, I brought snacks. Do you want a snack? And he's <laughs> like, turn around, mom. <gasps> and I was like, you fucking asshole. I was like, I was like I'll be your child. Do you want a snack? <laughs> <laughs> Ungrateful motherfucker. So anyway, yeah. as a mom, that really irked me. Yeah. I was like, excuse me? You better show her some fucking respect. Hurt your mom heart. So, teenage boys, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, um, we get there and my sister's apartment is literally has a fucking view on her balcony of a mountain right next to her. So pretty. I was like, this is amazing. This is gorgeous. And we had a fucking awesome time. First day we went out to get Thai food. It was really fucking good. We went grocery shopping. It's it's different going grocery shopping in other places. Yeah, definitely. It is. It is. I, I, I was looking for buys and dip. My dad's like, it's not here. No, honey. I was like, oh. No. Shit. <gasps> they have plastic bags still. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, so look does at Florida. These. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so weird. It's. I almost <laughs> feel like, oh, never mind. That's a whole other story. We're in New York, so we only have no bags now. <laughs> Because they got rid of paper bags as well. Yeah. Yeah. Besides Dollar General. So basically, you got to buy bags and then you got to um, go when you go back to the store and you forget your bags, you got to buy, buy more bags. bags. And then you go home and then you go back to the store and you forgot your bags. So you got to buy more bags. And then you end up with 200 bags yep. that you never use. Yep. Same. I use mine for everything, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, me too. They're so useful. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you could put stuff in there for the day for the kids, toys, sand toys. I mean,. Dirty clothes, like, from your car, like, anything. Yeah, so we, like, bought groceries for, like, so we can make dinners together and stuff. So the one night we did make dinner, which, because I'm a control freak, naturally it turned into me making dinner. (laughs) But also my dad, when he smokes, he's, like, in another galaxy. And so, like, he's just not focused. He couldn't even do it. (laughs) So he was like, just tell me what to do. I was like, here, you guys can make some garlic bread because I was man in the chicken i got everything else going it's just who i am and yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> and um yeah so we made this banging chicken alfredo it's awesome homemade garlic bread on bagels it was awesome mm. and they used like crushed up garlic and stuff so sounds yeah yummy. they did do their part <laughs> yeah. they did they did that sounds yummy um and yeah so i think the second day is the day we went to pearl street mall which is like this it's a mall, but it's outside. So there's like flower oh. beds. There's flower beds everywhere and all this like art. So there's like a fairy sitting on a swing or there's bear statues. There's That's fountains. So cool. It's beautiful. That's what I do. Oh, I adopted a bee. Yes. At the Savannah Bee Company. His name is Barnaby. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Well, the next day we went up to Netherland, which is like a little town in the mountains. And it's very small and it's very cute and all around you can see all the mountains there's a lake and we took a walk there's like a bridge with like a little creek running through it it was gorgeous i wanted to run into a bear but i also didn't want to run into a bear for safety reasons but i did want to see a bear i get it i didn't see a bear but it's okay because it I'm alive. So that was a cute little town. And then so on our way down, because this was up. This was like, I think it's like 8,000 feet up. Um, so a, on, our way, on our way down the mountains, because these are the Rocky Mountains. So on the way down, um, there's tons of places to stop for like scenery and like, like paths and stuff you can do. And we stopped at this place called Boulder Falls. And um, it's like this little tiny path you take and it's up to this big waterfall so then we that was like it for that day it was really great and i think it was the next day that (laughs) um we went to the cliff so we went to um lost gulch which is a cliff that is seven thousand three hundred feet up Mm -mm -mm. i think it's actually seven thousand three hundred something i just can't give you the exact number Yeah, yeah but it's this you know it's beautiful there's lizards there's these cool rocks with like metallic 
Ooh. like stuff on them and yeah. then there's like um like these red stones kind of like garnet and like Ooh. it was it was amazing yeah that's pretty it was so high up and beautiful so we're smoking joints up there you know how it is and because it's colorado it's Col- of course we hit that dispensary of course we did absolutely and, which was nice there they were so nice and I was like, I was like, well, Dad, all I know is sativa gives me anxiety. He's like, me too. So we both <laughs> got yeah, hybrid. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> yes, we got um, two eighths and um, a rolly. I think we only got one or two rollies, but somehow we finished it all because we both don't smoke a lot. Yeah. And we somehow we finished it all by the exact end of the trip. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we we went up to Lost Gulch, and anyone who knows me knows that <sighs> heights. <laughs> Right. Heights are not my thing. Christina's been trying to get me on a roller coaster our whole friendship, and now it's definitely not happening, girlfriend. Honey, I don't even know if I ever want to go I wouldn't again. let you. <laughs> I know, right? I've seen too many things me too at on this the point. line. Me too. Um, yeah. Me too. It's just sketch. It's sketch, but it's also in the air, and I can't fuck with that. Okay? Um, in the air. No, I can't. So... But, you know, got to do it for the gram because it's just overlooking all the Rocky Mountains. It's oh, so, so beautiful. you do it for the gram. So no, we're kidding. like, we're heading our, because you got to like kind of crawl over to where we're going. I got to crawl past this kind of like ditch thing in the rocks too, which kind of, if you fall in there, you're tumbling down. You oh know what I mean? God, this so terrifying. I'm having a fucking panic attack the whole time. Here. I'm shocked that you even did it. Me too. <laughs> I didn't go, you know, with my legs hanging over. Cause are you fucking joking? And on top of that, with all my angel numbers, I've talked about it on here a million times, how this whole year yeah. I have every day had some sort of angel number in my life, but most days, like six out of seven days of the week, it's like at least five where it's like, I look at the clock, I look at something, it's one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 whatever. Like it's constant. Crazy enough, my dad's hotel room. It's two, 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 two. two, two. two. It's two, two, two right now as you said that. It's Um, literally two, two, two. I swear (laughs) to God. (laughs) That's mother fucking crazy. That's fucking insane. <laughs> you said two, 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 and I looked up at the clock. No, it's that time. So my dad's hotel room was two, 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 That's and it's crazy. two, two, two right now. But this is the shit I've been dealing with, and I'm like, okay, if I'm on the right path, then make something happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, it's coming. Oh, I forgot to talk about Meow Wolf. You did. I'm gonna talk about Meow Wolf before I get into the shit. Okay. This is deep. Okay. okay. Meow Wolf. A hundred thousand million percent recommend. It's like an experience. It's right? an experience. <laughs> and I, you know, if, if you can handle it, if you can handle it and go on some shrooms or whatever the fuck you do, do it. But I'm telling you, I was sober as fuck and I was tripping. Okay. That's amazing. Because it is an interactive art installment and it's this giant building and you go up this elevator and you land in this alien world and, and you keep opening these doors that you think are just doors no no they're portals to another world to another land to a to another art installment and it's absolutely trippy and insane and crazy and i couldn't even explain it to you just look it up except the pictures you see don't do it justice. they will not do it justice all i can tell you is every time i opened a door i was like i can't i was like i need a minute like this is <laughs> it's too much it's too much and there's no way we've seen everything we went through a couple times and still kept seeing things we didn't see before right. it was insane meow wolf denver colorado and i'm pretty sure they have other places in the country but crazy that's amazing. crazy so insane we did that the last day and it blew our fucking minds um <sighs> but back into the deep shit yeah Okay, back into the deep shit. You weren't really, your mind wasn't in Colorado. My mind wasn't in Colorado. Even during this Meow Wolf experience, <laughs> okay? I I didn't feel there. It didn't feel real. And I missed the fuck out of my kids. Like, it's because I felt like a part of me stayed. A part of me never left. And I still don't feel like I went. I felt just like, it was, I can't explain how I felt. It just felt not you right. had it mom didn't feel guilt right. which isn't always warranted it wasn't even guilt it was just i didn't feel right i yeah. didn't feel right yeah and i came back and i had this i i picked up my kids i literally you had an traveled epiphany. i traveled for 11 hours that day and i had my mom pick me up from my dad's house and i went to pick up pick up my kids and i looked in their faces and i cried because i missed them i was gone for six days 
I miss them. And it gave me a whole new realization to, yeah, as before I knew, my baby dads are pieces of shit and anyone who spends time away from their kids are pieces of shit. Right. But when I came home, I'm like, no, it's more than that. Yeah. (sighs) There's something wrong with you. Yeah. But that was my vacation (sighs) and that's how I came back feeling. And... I'm, I was so excited to go back to work. It felt weird not being in a routine. Like, yeah. I, it's weird. I live my life in a routine. I can't. I was like, Yeah, I don't it's know very weird stepping out of that, that comfort zone. I also didn't sleep well because I missed my kids. I thought I was going to sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. I was tossing and turning. Yeah. <laughs> I actually sleep better now that I'm home because Amore's in his own bed. I know, finally. Ah. Oh, he actually doesn't even want me to rock him to sleep anymore. He just wants me to put him in there when he's awake and rubbing his eyes. Yeah. He will handle it himself. Yeah. He wakes up maybe at one for a baba. That's the best maybe. case scenario that you've got going on. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I know you struggled with <laughs> Cairo till he was like two. Well, he was out of my bed when he was one years old. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not living like that <laughs> anymore. I understand it's okay for some parents to sleep with their kids, like, even later in their life, whatever. I slept with my mom till I was, like, 11. And if I couldn't sleep with my mom, I was sleeping in Colby's bed. Right. <laughs> or on his floor. It's because I was scared of the dark. Oh. I didn't want to be alone. Yeah. Um, but with Cairo, I just taught him, which is a great tip. Well, cats eat monsters. And I have cats. So I was like, so they're not going to come here because they're afraid. And if they do come here, <laughs> they're going to die. <laughs> And it's really wor- <laughs> it's really working. <laughs> so oh my God. that is hilarious. Yeah, Cairo moves too much in his sleep. I cannot have him in my bed. Yeah. He is all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I got today. We're not gonna do any extra questions and stuff because time is ticking. I gotta go home and finish this pot roast. Which I love slow cookers, you know? You just gotta yeah, throw it convenient. in there and just say fuck off for the next six hours, yeah, you know? It's very I love that. Yeah. I love it. I need to do it more. Yeah, me too. And soup me season too. is upon us. It it's, is. It's got a nice chill in the air. Yes. <laughs> Fall stuff is coming. What do you... Sounds like y'all are. Sounds you guys are being for Halloween. The Adams Family. Yes. I'm so excited. Which I'm jealous. I've always wanted to be Morticia, but I will have my time. You can have your time anytime. I will. I will. Um, but this year, me and my kids, because Cairo's obsessed with the Mario movie, and not just him, because every time I put Such it on, a good movie. Amore is zoomed in. Aww. He he is. I have pictures of him just like Col- like it's Colby was when he was a kid, just like, and he's laughing at it and everything. He Aww, loves it. Oh, that's so cute. And he looks like Mario. He does. So he's, in his own very strange way. So he's going to be Mario, and Cairo's going to be Luigi riding Yoshi. Because they have that blow up fucking. I know exactly <laughs> what you're yeah. talking about. He agreed. Yay. Yes. And so for me, I'm being Princess Peach, I guess, because here's the thing. First of all, I've always hated Princess Peach because she's my biggest rival in Mario Kart. Yeah. And like, bitch. Yeah. But then I watched the movie and I literally said out loud, like, damn, kind of like her. I know. I like her in the bad movie, ass. too. I love her. And I her. love it. And she's cool. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. She's now so I got to cool. be her in Mario Kart. And maybe that's always been the answer. Yeah. Can't rival against yourself. Yeah, that's true. Um, you just got to take it on. But I told Cairo, I'm like, but I could pull off Princess Daisy better. Yeah, you could. And he said, no, <laughs> you're going to be Princess Peach. Oh, he's chosen. So it's not my decision, I guess. He's chosen. <laughs> Olivia chose all of us. I did want to be the Incredibles. I know it's kind of like natural. I know that would be cute. It would. Maybe he'll get more into it and you could do it next year or something. But... I guess Amori will still be a baby next year. Yeah. To be Jack Jack. <laughs> yes, he'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> what are you being, Colby? I'll be my dad. <laughs> Invisible? <laughs> oh, uh, my. <laughs> yeah, Halloween is upon us. I know it's only August, but it is. Me and Libby are settled into our spooky season. So. Yeah, well, she's always spooky season oh, ready. Oh, y- my daughter, all year round everything's spooky. she's basically her f- goth but her favorite color is pink though and she loves dresses but a s- anything other than that it's all spooks all the halloween movies yeah and she has the creepiest fucking baby dolls from the halloween store yeah she does i seen one one day i was like this is yours she's like yeah I'm like, isn't she pretty I'm like okay <laughs> has like red eyes and shit. <laughs> 
I was she petrified. Loves it. I know. At first, when <laughs> at first well, I would. I, I know. <laughs> I know. I really thought like Cairo hated it. <laughs> yeah, I really thought. Oh my gosh, like well, this is really happening. But like, there's nothing I could do about it. But like she's it's so innocent you know and it's on point for who you are you've always been in the nightmare before christmas and all yeah. that it makes sense yeah you've always been low-key yeah. and emo yeah 100%. just always wearing a hollister shirt <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah those days yeah is hollister still, still a thing? i think so oh. i don't know i don't know probably <laughs> i've seen someone wearing a hollister shirt the other day and i was like that is so weird yeah I'd be like, are we in 2009? Like, even before <laughs> that, like, crazy. <laughs> we are. We have our 10-year reunion I can't coming up next that. year. I can't believe that. I, yeah, no. I can't believe it. Yeah. If anyone even plans I know. It, right? I don't know what that entails. Like, I don't want to be a part of it. I just want to show up and stunt on everybody. Uh, I know. Because everyone bullied me, so fuck you. Yeah. I'm hot now. Sweat about it. Sweat about <laughs> it. Sweat about it. <laughs> but yeah that's all i got today yeah uh yeah i gotta go yeah because somehow i'm hosting a family dinner <laughs> that'd I'd be fun basically my grammy hasn't met the baby yet and so i was like hey you want to have dinner sunday night she's like yeah at your house can i bring your cousin mom and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> well good luck yeah yeah I'm excited to eat, though, because I'm hungry. All I've had is a Slim Jim today yeah, now. I didn't eat either. I had a protein shake. <sighs> and a Slim Jim is bad, but, you know, I was fasting for a while. And I'm like, okay, well, One Slim end. Jim isn't bad. The it's whole the box the is bad. Thing. Okay? <laughs> you can have one Slim Jim. But a whole box of little ones is technically, what, like two big ones? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more. We've been eating Firehouse Subs. I have never had a sub from there. Bro. Because not even unhealthy. Like, I, I get not even unhealthy, but so fucking good. That's awesome. They have a Jamaican jerk. Jamaican me um, happy. Fucking sub. Mm. It's the sweetest, spiciest, most beautiful tasting thing mm. I've ever fucking had. Love it. Amazing. We gotta go there this week. <laughs> 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 Till I'm sick of it. <laughs> Uh, but okay. Hyper fixating, hyper fixating. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have uh, a wonderful day. You too. And I'll see you in two weeks. Sounds good. Hopefully you sooner, Steen. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'll obviously see you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 uh, Got to get on that grind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Happy Monday. Happy. Happy. All right, guys. We love you and all your support. Yes. And it's 333 on our time right now, which is like, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> yep. So we're going to we're going to end it at that point. Yep. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.